Okay, this is a mess. This is a mess. Let's say like three to four months prior to the last elections, the US elections, I knew, I knew, I knew in my heart that the Trump was gonna lose, okay? I already knew it. But what got my attention was uh, those prophetic voices all across America, coming from where? I mean, mostly from the Bible Belt. Uh, people recognize people, people with a very good reputation, like Sid Roth. I mean, Sid Roth, I used to follow him on YouTube. Not anymore, I, I unsubscribed. Well, not only because of uh, he was supporting uh, Trump, but because he was inviting all these people claiming that they visited heaven and they talked to Jesus and Jesus showed them uh, uh, the shelf, the, the unborn babies and uh, his less uh, secrets and, and things of that nature. And I understood that something is wrong with that seat route. And then he ended up supporting, uh, I mean, uh, vividly supporting uh, Donald Trump within the last elections, and he's still supporting him. And he, he's still claiming that uh, he, he won the elections. Well, all those prophetic voices, they were all wrong. All of them, all of them. And then this guy, Chris, Chris Hume, he, he's a new guy on, on, on YouTube. Uh, he is claiming, he is still claiming that uh, this election was stolen, was rigged, and uh, the, for some reason, uh, uh, Biden came out with this uh, uh, gigantic idea on how to uh, commit fraud and win the election. Those have, those have been the most, most legal elections within the last 40 years in, in, in the US. There was nothing wrong, nobody, nobody Nobody has been able to prove that it, that it was a real election. It just didn't happen. It just, just didn't happen. But Trump, Trump was in power. He was in the White House. And he knew. He knew all along, since day one. I am a cult leader. These people are going to follow me. Whatever I say, they're just going to believe me and they're going to follow me. Forget about January the, the 6th. We all know what happened. But. Uh, he knew since day one that whatever I say, whatever I tweet on Twitter, people are just going to follow me. Do you think deep in your heart, you, I'm talking to you, you're a Christian man, you're a Christian lady. You read your Bible. You know the Word of God. Do you think, do you think, for God's sake, do you think that he believes in God? Do you think that he is a born-again Christian? Do you think that he reads his Bible? Do you think that he prays? Do you think, do you believe that he cares about Jerusalem? He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He didn't even care about the veterans. That was, the, that was a big lie. A lot of people believe in him. Yeah, he did a lot of good things, okay? Let's agree. I'm against China monopoly, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, uh, yeah, I'm against China monopoly, I'm against abortion, okay? So, I'm a, just so you know, I'm a, I'm a diehard Republican, so, so this is my, my, my political party. So I, I understand about, uh, uh, but mostly I used to follow McCain, uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, those are the people that I used to uh, uh, promote, okay? Even in my uh, uh, social media accounts, but never him. Never, never Donald Trump. <laughs> Make no mistake, I, I knew who he was. Since uh, 1983, when, I, when he showed up on, on, in the media, when this lady, this uh, uh, finance uh, lady, was uh, raped, was attacking uh, up in Central Park, up in New York, and he came out and, 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 and he became sort of a, 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 a star. Okay, since he was very young at that time, he was accusing Latin people, African American uh, young boys, of uh, raping this lady, and then it was a huge case. Anyway, so uh, and then he became really, really, really popular. But this time around, 
All these prophetic voices telling you, telling you that he is going to win the election, that he's going to have a second term, that that has been God's plan, that that has been God's idea, that that's in God's, God's project for America. All these people, all these people claiming that he was going to win. And, it, and what really breaks my heart is that they were 110% sure that he was going to win. Do you realize that since you've been believing and following Trump, your faith has been decreasing? Do you realize that since you, you have been following Trump, you haven't been reading your Bible? Because it comes to the point that what about my relationship with God? Because I'm believing in someone who is claiming he's going to uh, terminate uh, immigration because I don't want to see all these Latin people living in America. I don't want to see them in America. Because that's your belief. I'm Hispanic. I'm a Latin man. And I'm a immigrant. And I, w I know what's in your mind. When I saw the, t the Tea Party uh, uh, building up uh, 10 years ago, before Sarah Palin, I knew, I knew in my heart that that was against immigrants. I knew. You can claim I'm for this and for that. I, and, and I understand. And I understand. But I knew in my heart that that was going to be the platform for a lot of hatred groups to be formed. Like the Proud Boys. Proud Boys. I believe, and there is a Latin guy being part of the Proud Boys. I, I, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm appalled. I mean, oh, I cannot believe that this guy, this guy. Well, he happens to be Cuban. Cuban people, they believe they're special. They believe they're not Latin people, even though they speak Spanish. All because most of them, which is true, come from Spain. Okay. And they believe they're better than Hondurans, uh, Salvadorians, or, or Nicaraguans, and all those people from Central America. They don't, Cuban people, they don't want them in America. So they claim, you are an illegal alien. I don't want you here, so I'm going to support Trump because he wants you out of the U.S. So that is the reason they join the Republican, the Republican Party, and mostly they, they follow uh, Trump because they don't like these immigrants in America. Well, guess what? They're the one cleaning your house, they're the one uh, picking up the, the harvest, they're the one uh, working in a restaurant so you can go and enjoy a nice meal. Okay, they're the ones doing the dirty jobs, okay? They are the ones, not you, not these Cuban people. They've been living 50 years in America. They're already, they're already attorneys, uh, MDs, uh, psychologists, uh, they work for the, the, the county, they're commissioners, they're majors. So, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They, they just want you out of the country. That's the reason they joined the Republican Party. That's the reason they voted for Trump. That is the reason they... Not that they support Trump. They don't care about Trump either. They just want all these immigrants out of the country. That's all they want. Pro Boys. The base of the Republican Party is the Bible, okay? Let's agree. If you're a conservative person, your, your platform is going to be your ground, your source is going to be the Bible, the Word of God, okay? We all agree on that. Well, Democrats, they might claim we also rely on the Bible, but they don't, they don't, they don't. We all know, we all, uh, I mean, I'm not happy having a, 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 a Democratic Party uh, rule in the country right now. Biden is in the White House, he won the elections, he is a very fair president, okay? He is the 46th president. He won the election. Okay? He's the rightful president of, of the US right now. Okay? But I disagree with him. I disagree with his policies. Uh, as much as he claims he's a uh, Roman Catholic uh, follower, he goes to my mass. Uh, I, I just disagree with him. Okay? But all these prophetic voices. That's very sad. That, that, extremely sad. And you, you're listening to me. You're listening to me. You knew all along that, that Trump, he doesn't even believe in God. He doesn't care about God. He just cares about, 
his name, his signature, his reputation, his legacy. And I'm not even mentioning his family, but I, because I could mention his family. No, his family is part Jewish, part Christian, and you don't even know who he is. He doesn't care about you. He never did it for you. He claims he loves America. He loves the veterans. He doesn't love anybody but himself. He just cares about himself. You can be his best friend today at the golf cart. Tomorrow you become his worst enemy. That is not a normal person. That's a living hell of a person. That's who he really is. He's a demon. He's evil. Totally evil. He hates everybody. He hates you. And he wants a second term. Now, these people are claiming that these prophetic voices, prophetic voices are claiming that the realization of those prophetic voices are gonna are gonna pass within the next election, 2024. So he's gonna take charge for the second the second time around on on January the, the 20th. 2025 no yeah he's got some chances he's not gonna be well he's he's been impeached but uh, he's gonna be indicted okay he's not gonna he's gonna he, he's not gonna get convicted so he's gonna be ready he's gonna be ready to uh, uh, become a, a candidate for the next election okay so most likely he's gonna win he's gonna win because there's a lot of people following him this all all these crazy people following him People that are supposed to be Christians. People that are supposed to read the Bible. Come on, John, Luke, Matthew. What happened to you? What happened to you? You got lost? That you ended up believing in this guy? This guy is civil. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about you. He's not thinking about you. He's just thinking about how to how to destroy his enemies. And the, what makes me really sad is that most people are going to vote for him again. He's got a huge base, a huge base. There are people. Those people are not going to give up in 48 months. That's going to be. <laughs> Next elections are just around the corner, just so you know, okay? It's going to be like this. Biden first uh, year in office is going to be like this, okay? He's going to be back like this, like this, like this, okay? The primaries are going to be in 2023, just around the corner. He's going to win like a landslide. And then Biden, most likely, this is not going to be an easy government, okay? This is not going to be an easy term. I'm just letting you know. This is not gonna be easy. I, 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 I can foretell some crisis coming in, okay? So this is not, not gonna be easy. Who's gonna come back? Mr. Donald Trump. He's gonna come back. He's, he's gonna make it. And there we go again. Again, it's gonna be the hatred. Again, it's gonna be, okay, whatever I say, they're gonna just believe in me. So again, it's gonna be fake news, okay? Whatever you say is gonna be fake against him. Whatever he says is going to be the truth. Whatever you say against him is going to be fake news. And then all the Republican Party, my God, people that are supposed to be sound, bold, people who go to church every single Sunday. That's very sad. That's only 10 people voted uh, uh, to impeach him out of the Republican Party. What about the rest of the Congress uh, uh, people, congressmen, congresswomen. They were just afraid of what's going to happen next. They were just covering their backs. Am I going to be uh, voted for, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to be reelected? If I vote against uh, Donald Trump? No, I'm not going to be reelected. So I prefer just to vote in favor of him. Just protecting your, your bag, covering your bag. That's not what the, your constituents voted for you. They voted for you to take care of them and to tell the truth. You're not telling the truth. Only 10 people voted against Donald Trump, Republican uh, uh, congressman. And then he went to the Senate, and now it's in the Senate. And, and he's been in bitch. 
Nothing is going to happen. He's going to be indicted. And he's going to free, he's going to have a free pass for next elections. And again, all these proud boys, all these people who claim America is theirs and not ours, so we're not Americans. Okay, you're immigrant, you do not belong here, you better go somewhere else. Okay? Even if you're a legal, Amer a, a, a legal resident in America, like my case, okay, like in my case. They want you out of the country. We don't want you. We don't like your race. We don't. We don't like. We don't like anything about you. We don't like your accent. We don't care if you clean my house. I'll clean my house some someday. I'll do it on my own. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't. We don't want you here. That's the message. And then Latin people being part of the Proud Boys, that's unbelievable. I mean, uh, I, I, absolutely flabbergasted. I, I cannot believe, I cannot believe that is happening in America. But just make no mistake, Trump is not with you. He's not with you. He hates your guts. He hates your guts. He doesn't even care about his family. Hillary Clinton said, he's a good dad. He's not a good dad. He doesn't care about any of his former wives. He doesn't even care about Tiffany. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. Himself. Him, it's all about him. It's all about him. Whatever I say on Twitter, people are just going to believe me. That's what he claims. So they're just going to follow me and I'm, I'm going to create chaos. That's what he was pursuing. He just wanted to create chaos so in case something happens, maybe martial law, he becomes, he takes a second term. He gets a second term. He was, that is what he was pursuing. Now he's hiring all these attorneys and he's forcing them to claim that this election was rigged. And it was not rigged. It was a fair election. Joseph Biden, he won a very, very fair election. He won, he became, he became the 46th president. Trump claims as, the more, the more, the more I refuse his victory, the more I get a second term. Well, he knows he's out of the White House now. He knows that it's not going to happen. He just want to get evicted, indicted, and then, well, he was evicted, evicted already. He just want to get indicted and then participate in the next uh, elections. He's going to he's going to he's going to win the primaries. That's going to be a landslide. Believe me, he's going to win. Because all these people, they see just uh, uh, what they see is very very weak candidates and they have shown us the Republican party they have shown us that they don't have anybody whatsoever whosoever ready to take on Trump. Nobody. And this uh, Marjorie Green Taylor, what a my God, my God! Is that the Republican Party? My God, that's my party. That's the party of Ronald Reagan. That's embarrassing. You should be embarrassed. If you go to church, just ask yourself, dear God, am I doing the right thing by following this guy, Donald Trump? Is my relationship with you improving? Am I pleasing you? You, you that created me with your words. You that with your hand you hold my life. Am I pleasing you? Am I doing the right thing? Am I a real Christian by following this guy? Should I believe those prophetic voices that claim that he was going to have a second term? Like this Chris Hume, this Asian American guy. He gained a lot of followers. For what? For what? Just for his own personal gain. And then Trump has destroyed, he has destroyed a lot of Christian life. Because all these people are now wondering, do I still believe in God? Do I still believe in God? Is there any room for me within the Christian life? 
after following this guy? That is the question that you have to ask yourself. This is Miguel from South Beach, Florida. I'll be back again. Bye-bye.